You're absolutely right. I'm not denying it. <laughs> The last few times that I dyed my hair, my hair pretty much remained within the same shade level and only minutely changed tone or color. It's boring, basically, and people are sick of it. And I don't blame them, I'm sick of it. Problem is, however, that the reason I've been sticking to this color is because I dyed my hair with box dye back in November. Before you can dye it to another color, you have to remove that pigment from your hair. So today I'm going to be trying to color remove my box dyed black hair and seeing where it gets me. We're going to try to color remove our hair, basically. And I'm nervous. That is not the only thing that we are removing today, however. When I transform my hair, I try to transform all of me. And today that includes removing our body hair. This video is brought to you by my favorite IPL device, the Kenzie IPL handset. The best device on the market for the ultimate hair removal. I use this for years now and it keeps blowing me away by how incredible it is. It's easy to use and it is genuinely painless and so effective at removing body hair. First of all, it delivers quick and long-term hair removal results. It's like its main part. This IPL device can be used on the underarms, bikini area, legs, back, arms, anywhere under the eyebrow is a good area to use this on if you wanna get rid of your body hair. Fun fact, did you know that the hair that grows on your head and the hair that grows on your body are two different types of hair? Terminal hair is the hair that grows on your head, in the underarms, the groin, the genitals, and occasionally on the chest and arms. Vellus hair hair is the peach fuzz that grows on our faces and other parts of our body that is typically much finer and lighter in color. You could use Kenzie on both. So how do you use this? You plug it in, you set your Kenzie device to your ideal intensity, put it into glide mode and then zap away. If you've never tried any sort of hair removal devices before, you'll start seeing results in two to three weeks. I no longer have any hair in my underarms with my hair pretty soon slowing down in growth and after using the Kenzie IPL for 12 ish weeks no hair grows there at all i no longer shave wax or thread any hair on my body mainly because it's ungodly painful and unnecessary ipl stands for intense pulse light and it targets the melanin in the hair and converts the light into heat to treat the area. It has a very ergonomic design and it is lightweight and incredibly easy to use. I've personally used it on my bikini, underarms and legs and I've seen such a change in my hair growth. If you're much more interested with the hair on your head than you are with the hair on the rest of your body, I would highly recommend this. The best thing is that you can buy this once and never ever ever have to spend any more money on any hair removal devices, treatments, anything. Kenzie does offer part payments on their website, so if you don't want to pay for it in full, when you buy it, you can do it in parts. And you can also use my coupon code STELLA20 for 20% off, making it even more affordable. You can find it at the link below, or you can go to kenzie.com, K-E-N-Z-Z-I.com. Try it out, let me know what you think. Now that we are hairless, let's remove some other stuff from our body. Pigment! Let's go! So when it comes to color removing permanent hair, it's a bit trickier than color removing, let's say, semi-permanent hair colors. And that is because the color bonded within the cortex over here, it is physically inside. The developer that we add into our ammonia base dyes physically opens up the cuticle, shoves the dye in. It's not necessarily a damaging process, which I keep having to reiterate, but again, it, you know, it is, it is in there. I do have a couple different color removers here with me today. I still don't know which I'm going to be using. Here I have the Bond Enforcing Color Remover by Schwarzkopf. I have used this quite a few times and it does wonders, but I do notice that it does tend to lift even my natural pigment. I do then also have these by Malibu C. These are a really fun alternative because they're crisp and you have to wet them with water. I have this one called CPR. I like it, it's neat. Color pigment remover for professional colorists because that's what we are. Then we've got the XL Extra Lift Direct Dye Lifter. And finally, we've got my nails. Someone asked me last time <laughs> to give my nails like a five second highlight spot in my videos because they always wanted to see my nails, so. There you go, I got them done in, in Nui, Malta, and they're fun, and they're for a very special project that I'm filming this week. 
I think I'm gonna go with Malibu C just because I wanna believe they're a gentler option. If you want like ultimate removal, this is what I'd recommend, but I do want to try a more gentle approach today because we're growing up slowly, slowly, and we're going to try to take a more nuanced approach to hair treatments. So I'm gonna go with this one, mix it as per instructions and see where it gets. I actually want to prevent excessive damage and I have two products here today, K18, Miss, literally everyone's heard about this. If you haven't, it's an amazing product. Try it. Or as the Epress. I know this one works. This one's more fun. I'm gonna apply both. I have short hair, I'm gonna use one pouch. I really do love this brand because every single one of these things is just crystals in a bag. It's a really fun thing. Do you guys want to know a fun fact? Back in the 70s, when it was really popular to buy home mixed cakes, you know, where you get the powders and you just add water and you make a cake. The companies who created these saw that there was a decline and people weren't as interested in buying them. And they went on this mad research to find out why people weren't that invested in making a cake literally just with this powder and water. And they found out that because it was so easy to make, the consumers felt like they weren't contributing enough. So what the companies did is they removed the pulverized egg from the mixture and on the back of the bottle, they instructed the consumers who bought it to mix the contents of the bag with water and add one egg. And the humans who bought it were so much more in favor of this because it felt like they were actually contributing to it. And that is actually why IKEA operates the way it operates, is because when you take away that final step, it makes the people who buy the item feel like they contributed to make the item. So is this marketing scheme? Who know? I like it. Anyways, one packet of our powder and 1.5 ounces of 10 or 20 volume developer. I'm using 20 volume developer because last time you guys absolutely canceled me for using a very low developer the last time I was trying to bleach my hair and basically nothing happened. Here's our product. Let's put it on. <gasps> Wait, no, my shirt. You're not meant to use metal clips. I'm gonna follow the rules and change it. It. 
I'm gonna get back to you in 20 minutes to see here how it has progressed and see if it really does need to stay on for 45 minutes. Here we are 20 minutes later and you can see that it is still very much affecting my natural root which is now a beautiful ginger and then the ends are kind of a level five maybe a six it's kind of like a mid brown i'm gonna add on yet another packet and i'm gonna distribute this everywhere and then i'm going to see what happens Seven forty-seven. I'm impatient. Let's take it off. Let's see what happened in exactly forty-five minutes. I did add some heat onto it to speed up the process. It's not black. It's not great. <laughs> I could do my fire roots very easy. <laughs> Should I do that? Should I dye my roots hot orange? I want to wash this out. Um, I mean, it's definitely, it's not black anymore. You can't say that it's black, but it, de it doesn't look great. It's not going to look great even when I wash it. Let's wash. Don't get your hopes up. Because... We did manage to lift it to a beautiful level seven. So considering before it was like a level four or five, I feel like three levels of lift is actually very amazing. Obviously my roots are a beautiful level nine or 10. The back is patchy. So now comes the time where I need to color correct the daylight out of this color and see what I can do. Couple different options. First option, I can tone it to a really nice copper hair. The problem is that that was a color that I did last year around exactly this time of year. So the second option is to go completely cool tone, which as we all know, is pretty difficult taking hair that is currently warm onto hair that is cool. And so I'm tempted to go I feel like blow drying my hair backwards. I can confirm the hair still feels pretty good. Again, I want to show you the full look. It's not great. Before I do um, any sort of coloring, I want to try one thing. And that is, I want to see if I can... <laughs> If I can apply enough makeup to make this hair look good. So I want to do just that and I'll be back to show you the finished look. I know I, I'm not taking myself seriously. I'm not. Um, I just, I wanted to see if there was any possibility of it looking better. The answer is no, but I think it still looks fun. I think occasionally we should still show off the less perfect versions of ourselves. In this case, color correction can be a long and tedious process and occasionally you can look like a chicken, a Holy Mary chicken. <laughs> I, however, do not know what color I want to try out of the three that I mentioned before. So for today, I'm actually going to sign off the video here and you'll have to check in the next video to see what color I ended up going up for because I've got a wicked headache and I just, I've got chicken wings. I'm going to eat them. I'm done for the day. Yes, I'm going to be walking around like this for a while. Every single product that I use is going to be linked down the description box below so you can still try it and you can definitely follow along with my next video to see what I go for next. But for now, I am super happy that officially you cannot call my hair black. That means that now I can go a million different routes.
I am also going to be linking all the details for my Kenzie. There is a link directly down below, as well as my coupon code Stella24 20% off if you are tired of body hair and you want to really waste all of your time on your head hair. This is the product for you. If you haven't already, subscribe to this channel, join the Stella Fram, let's learn a thing or two together. And if you are new here, do not judge me by this video. I guarantee the next video you're going to see just how I turn this around because I have faith in myself. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you'll give it a go and I will see you in my next video. Bye babies.